Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come up. I'm going to have Devin and Kendall come out. Dave and Mo are also going to stay. The first way we're going to do it is we're going to say two-man shooting. So, for example, Kendall and Devin are on a team. Kendall's 12 and Devin's 4. Dave, number 20, and Mo, number 11, are on a team. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to time a minute. We're going to put that on the clock. We're going to go 30 seconds. And I encourage you to use your clock in practice. Use your clock to help keep you on schedule. So as we go through, you're going to count. You're a team. What's going to happen is Kendall's going to pass to Devin. Devin's going to shoot. Kendall's going to go relocate. Shoot, Devin. Shoot. Kendall's going to go find somewhere. He's going to pass to him, and he's going to shoot. Big thing is you're taking game shots for yourself. As that's occurring, Mo and Dave are doing the same thing for 30 seconds. Okay? You're gonna, and you're counting the total made shots. Devin and, Devin and Dave, and excuse me, Mo and Dave and Devin and Kendall are competing against each other. Again, I think competitive shooting drills really help. All right. You want to, exactly, communication. Count out loud what your makes are. Let's go. Ready? Clock, set, go. Good passes. Three, two, one, zero. All right, stop. How many did you have? Two, four. So Devin and Kendall win that little, little segment right there. Again, I think it teaches them to do that. The fact that we're communicating out there is excellent. I heard Dave a couple times say, opposite Mo, skip past Mo. So communicating with your teammate is very important. 